Alright. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Howdy y'all. RV Cowboy here. Here's the next video in the springification of our RVs. Today, we're gonna springify our RV water heater. Ready? All right, RV Cowboy, so what do we do? Well, Kempco offers some great product to help you get your RV's water heater ready for the season. Yeah? Yeah. Like what? One of the products is a water heater tank rinser. This rinser has a flexible tube to get up into the tank and flush out any sediment that might be left over. Ready? Yeah. Oh. All right, so what happens after you rinse out your uh, RV water heater? Well, now that it's all clean on the inside, we want to fill it up so that we can heat up some water. But before we do, we need to plug it. We removed this standard plastic plug in the fall, and we're going to replace it with an anode rod. An anode rod is a sacrificial metal rod that'll corrode faster than the water heater itself, making your water heater last a lot longer. This one from Camco has a drain valve on it as well, so we can easily drain it in the fall. This is when it gets difficult to tighten the anode rod. You almost need a special wrench. Well, good thing that Camco makes one. The wrench is offset and allows us to get a better angle to tighten up the anode rod. So now we've done everything we need to on the outside to springify the water heater. And then you need to go inside, and if you bypass your water heater, be sure to flip your valves back so that you can fill up your water heater with some good fresh water. Be sure to filter it with Camco water filter. Camco water filter sold separately. Is that it? That's it.